Stephanie had been to Jamaica twice on a humanitarian mission. She'd been to South Africa. Growing up, she was just compassionate about other human beings. She, she gravitated towards, towards people who needed, you know, a hug or a hand. The worse off you were, the more she wanted to help you, you know? I mean, there could be 30 kids that all need something in a room, and she'll find the one that looks like he's in the worst shape. And she'll pick that one and help him. When she went to Jamaica, she saw the kids there playing soccer with, with barefoot, and, and uh, they used a rock instead of a ball. That's when she spearheaded the drive to send 600 pounds of soccer equipment that shipped down to Jamaica. And um, she wanted to do the same thing in Haiti. This morning we have the story of a group of college students in Haiti at the wrong time. They arrived there on a humanitarian mission one day before the earthquake hit. This morning, only seven of those students are accounted for. She had an opportunity to go on this trip through Lynn University with Food for the Poor. She just said that she just really wanted to see the poorest of the poor. She wanted to see the worst that there is because she was compelled to change that. A South Florida University is holding out hope amid the devastation in Haiti. Four students and two faculty members from Lynn University are still missing. The group was staying at the Hotel Montana. It collapsed in the quake. Rescue teams continue to search the rubble for those missing. Now looking back, reality was that when, by the time we heard about that earthquake, they were gone. They were, they were in heaven. I mean, it was just, um, it was that quick. People were really reaching out. I mean, we got letters and cards from people that we have never met from all over the country whose lives Stephanie had touched that we didn't even know about. You know, mother saying that their daughter's going on the same South Africa mission that Stephanie was supposed to leave for, things like that that just made us, you know, really feel proud. People are starting to realize that Life is short, and if you want to achieve something, you got to go for it right from day one, not stop until you do achieve it. The Rosenthal JCC wanted to do something in her memory, and they remembered that they had done a mitzvah, which is a giving back, called the Caring Bears, and they gave cuddly little bears to the first responders to give to any children that they encountered on their missions and Stephanie just thought that was the greatest thing. So they decided that would be a great way to honor her. There are baskets of Stephanie's caring bears riding in every ambulance in the surrounding towns. So it's a way to get comfort that Stephanie always wanted to give to kids that are in distress. I just hope that every day people want to do something nice and it's opened up that awareness. We'll change the world for Steph. She's not here to do it. We'll have to do it for her. The relief and recovery operation in Haiti is going to go on for years, and the American Red Cross will be there on the ground helping people in need, helping to rebuild that country. Stephanie lost her life in Haiti, but the work that she started will continue. Her memory, her commitment, her dedication will live on through every Red Cross volunteer that will be in Haiti for the years to come.